channel. So today's video is in collaboration with Lynn Yoder here on YouTube. She is one of my best friends on YouTube and in real life. Um, we talk every few days on the phone. She just has such a beautiful heart and a beautiful home. And you guys will have to go check out her video. Um, she's doing a declutter video as well and her channel below. Something else super exciting about Lynn is they currently live in the state of Ohio and in the next couple weeks and months she's moving to Florida. So they are in the process of house hunting, finding a house, and I know they're gonna be doing a lot of renovating and cool projects to their new house. So you guys will have to go and subscribe to her and follow her journey because it's exciting for me. So I know it's gonna be exciting for you as well. I am actually sitting on my daughter's playroom floor at the moment because this is the room I'm gonna start in. So today my goal is to declutter at least one area in each room of my house. I try to do this about every six months or so. Um, it doesn't always happen, and I am actually more of a natural declutterer. Um, whenever my girls get new toys and things like that, we try to take something old out. Also, like clothing, I tend to go through clothing pretty often and just get rid of things that are either like overly stained or stuff that just doesn't fit right. I'm gonna be working on this throughout the day today, so if you see the lighting kind of change through the video, it's because I'm working on it in between taking care of my girls. They are having some screen time right now, so I'm taking advantage of that and going through their toys so that we don't have squabbles on what leaves and what stays. One other thing I wanted to mention is I have actually set up a Poshmark account. So some of the things that I'm decluttering today, I will be putting on there. So you guys can check that out. The link will be below and the stuff will be on there until this video is up. As I go along, I'll show you guys what I declutter from each room. And then at the end, I'll show you an overview. I'm gonna put it down in our family room. I'm working on redoing that right now so I have some floor space since there's no furniture in there. And I'm just going to pile everything in there and I'll show you what all I managed to pull out at the end. So let's go ahead and dig into the playroom. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power. So I just started out by going through containers and emptying out. I had a lot of baby toys that girls really don't play with anymore and so I just emptied some of those out and I was sure to take the labels off of everything so that as we get new toys I can create new boxes. Then I went through some bins that had some things in that the girls do play with and then there was stuff that was mixed in that I know they don't play with so I picked some of that stuff out. And then I also went through our Play-Doh and just double checked that we didn't have any that was dried out. Those are both noisemakers and came from both grandparents and I decided that it's time to get rid of them. The girls tend to use them more as weapons to try to hit each other sometimes <laughs> than they play with them, so they are headed out the door. How many right turns to reach some kind of goal? How many dressing up for me to play some ball? Seasons change same range where will it take tell me why the way up and down I'm moving around I went through our markers and um, pencils and things like that and just got out stuff that was broken or dried out just things that they weren't using Then this bin is what I keep our stuffed animals and things like that in 
And for some reason, my girls inherit these things like they're going out of style. And so there's something that I try to weed through every now and then and take a few out so that as new ones come in from friends and family, um, we are overloaded. The girl sheets were all in the wash today and I just went through their closet a little bit. I was looking for stuff that either didn't fit right or was stained and I also ran their hamper downstairs. As you saw, I keep locks on these doors and I love these locks. If you have closet doors like this, I will link the locks below and where I found them. They're from Amazon. Um, but it makes it so that they can't get into their closet and just tear a bunch of stuff out. Especially the hamper, that tends to be a problem is if they can get, have access to the hamper, they empty it and things like that. So I just was organizing things by sleeve length and just double checking that I went through everything to weed anything out that just wasn't worth keeping. out. I love these seventh generation diapers. They're so cute, aren't they? They are from Grove. I get them um, like a month's worth at a time. They have a really great package deal. If you guys haven't checked that out, I highly suggest it. And then this cupboard kind of became a catch-all. There was a lot of random stuff in there and I keep shoes that either are too big or too small for somebody. So I just weeded those out. else feel like socks shrink the more you wash them <laughs> I feel like my girls feet are constantly growing out of their socks My closet has been in some major need of attention. I really needed to go through it all. I really like to go with more of the capsule wardrobe mindset. I like to have um, a smaller amount of pieces, but yet I love all of the things I have. So I definitely am one to get rid of things pretty quickly whenever they don't fit right or I don't really like them anymore. So um, I didn't have a whole, whole lot to get out, but there was a couple pieces, especially with the season change. Oh, 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 oh,
And then these little cubies, um, I just had stuff I kind of wanted to reorganize and rearrange. So I just changed a few things around and made it a little bit more functional for myself. I'm taking a little break from the upstairs um, to show, oh, hang on, my dryer balls um, need to be put away here. I got my Grove order yesterday, and a lot of you always like to see what I get. I, I know you guys enjoy it. You leave a lot of comments about liking to see what I get because a lot of you already order from Grove. Um, I think most everybody talks about Grove that does cleaning videos. But in case you're unfamiliar with Grove, they are a company that provides all natural products. Anything from where I get my diapers to like cleaners, anything and everything. If you've never heard of Grove for some reason, there is a link below in the description bar that you can get some free products from them, which is pretty awesome. And I think in about a year, they actually send you over $40 worth of free products in each order. They often throw in something free, which is pretty cool. So this is what I got in my order yesterday. Actually, Lynn is the one that told me about this one. I love Caldra a lot, and I really like their linen sprays, but she said that you need to try this one. So it's the Rosewater Driftwood. It smells so good, and I actually think I'm gonna be using it on my girls bedding because it has a very floral scent but not overpowering and it smells really really good. I'm actually going to take one of these out. So this is actually from the Grove line of things and they are it's a really cool system. I've been wanting to try it for a while but I got three of these glass spray bottles. They each have a different color rubber on the bottom of them and then you order this with it and it contains a glass cleaner, an all-purpose cleaner, and tub and tile cleaner. They're little tubes that you mix with water in these spray bottles. I'm going to probably demonstrate how to mix it all up in a cleaning video coming up here sometime soon, but um, I'm excited to try that stuff. You guys already know how much I love my Method Laundry Detergent. This is something that I pretty much get every month. And before I get to the holiday stuff, I um, got this multi-surface multi concentrate cleaner to use in my spin mop water. This one is the scent Honeysuckle and it smells so good. And then the holiday stuff. So we have two bathrooms and a kitchen sink. So I got all three of the scents just to use for hand soap and then I go through this spray cleaner pretty quickly So this is the orange clove peppermint and the Iowa pine and guys I like I had my likes and dislikes about the fall scents, but I love all three of these I was really iffy about this one, but it's got a pretty nice clove smell. It's very Christmas smelling It's not it's not like orange like you know, you would think of an orange scent. It's very like spicy smell smelling and I really love all three of them and I'm excited to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this stuff put away and as I go through the bins I'm going to look for bottles that are almost empty that maybe I should put upstairs so they get used. Um, just kind of go through and declutter in here a little bit. In case you guys missed it, I do have a video on when I actually organized everything that's in these bins if you want to go to my channel and check that out or I'll try to remember to leave a link below. This was actually later on after my girls were in bed. Um, I tackled the closet in our living room. It's also basic, it's basically our coat closet and it had a lot of stuff that was just thrown in there. It can tend to be a catch-all and it had been a while since I went through the girls' shoes. It just really needed some attention and today it finally got it.
The one bin in the top of these cubies is where I keep diapers and wipes for this floor of the house. And then the other bin, I keep my hats and gloves. And the middle one, I keep the girls' hats and gloves. Some of these shoes I will be putting on Poshmark. Some of them they will get washed up and saved for the next girl that they will fit. Um, I just had to kind of weed through them. My coffee bar is where I keep a lot of stuff. Um, this dresser I found for $5 at a yard sale and I've painted it and touched it up whenever it's gotten chipped up. And it has actually been very handy in my kitchen. Although it can tend to be a catch-all as well. And so I just had to go through and weed it out, especially with them being drawers. They really have to be able to close, so overpiling the drawers is not really an option. And I have an official junk drawer. It's in the cabinet by our front door. But for some reason, this one tends to be a place where I throw things when I don't know what to do with it. And so I put a bunch of things in the actual junk drawer and wiped it all out and put everything back. So this was my biggest accomplishment of the day. This. Oh, this was so bad. I just I had let it go and it was something that really, really needed to be cleaned. Um, and I put those pods, the Cascade pods up because um, hazley has been getting into this cupboard and it just really bothers me that she could put one of those packs in her mouth. So I just needed to figure out what I was gonna do with those. All the other cleaners have a lock on them. I can turn them to off and just make sure that the girls can't get into them. Even though pretty much everything under here would be safe, it's all natural, um, and I don't really think that they would hurt themselves with it. Then this little antique metal tray is where I keep all of my like oils and vinegars on. It's really handy because as you can see, I can wipe stuff up and w take the tray out and wash it instead of having it directly against the flooring that's in there. Sip me up like lemonade, we both know it's bittersweet. And then a lot of cleaners that actually belong in the laundry room tend to gravitate up here so I put a lot of them back down there and the things I wanted to store under here was like extra dish soap and hand soap. And then like one multi-purpose cleaner and wipes and just, yeah, things I can grab easily whenever I'm doing stuff in the kitchen. And then I actually discovered I had this. 
It's a flower canister, but the latch on it is really hard to open, so it worked out perfect for those pods. It is seriously the best feeling to declutter. So this is pretty much everything that I decluttered except for the dishes and stuff that I threw away, that sort of thing. So um, tonight I will be putting a couple things up on my Poshmark and then I'll probably over the next week or so be putting some more things on. So if you guys want to go check that link out, you more than welcome to. The only places I did not get to today was the bathroom. I actually would like to do a declutter and organize bathroom for New Year's. It's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions. And then this room is our family room and I'm working on redoing it and there's really not a lot in this room right now. So that was something else that I didn't really need to declutter. Don't forget to go and check out Lynn's declutter video and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button give this video a like and thanks a lot for hanging out with me mm -hmm.